which will be very very important for your upcoming IFT examination which is going to happen very soon in 18th this on 18th December so basically I have tried to make the questions in a way which are actually in the patterns similar to the pattern of questions asked in IFT exam right so uh, if I'm audible and visible just write in the comments yes sir you're audible okay yes uh, one more thing I want to say how to join the quiz people will be asking sir how to join the quiz so it's uh, very easy uh, just open any web browser whichever web browser you are using uh, let's say Google Chrome Opera Firefox whatever you are using so just search www.menti.com written the top of my screen m e n t i dot com see on the top of my screen menti.com once you reach on menti.com they will be asking you a code to enter the quiz or to join the quiz so the code is written on the top of my screen see it is written 42660533 i am again repeating 42660533 enter it and join it fast देखो अगर आपको क्विज ज्वाइन करना है कैसे ज्वाइन करना है आप कोई भी जो भी गूगल क्रोम ओपेरा वेब ब्राउजर जो भी वेब ब्राउजर चलाते हो उसमें जाना मेंटी डॉट कॉम सर्च करना है एम ई एन टी आई डॉट कॉम मेंटी डॉट कॉम सर्च करना है तो आपसे फिर एक पहुंच के कोड पूछा जाएगा जब आप मेंटी डॉट कॉम पे जाओगे तो, तो कोड आपको डालना है देखो तो स्क्रीन के ऊपर में लिखा हुआ है फोर टू डबल सिक्स जीरो फाइव डबल थ्री ये कोड इंटर करना है और फटाफट ज्वाइन कर देना है ओके ओके यस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू ओके यस आई थिंक थ्री पीपल हैव ज्वाइन इट सो आई एम वेटिंग फॉर अदर पीपल टू ज्वाइन है ना यस सो हाउ टू ज्वाइन इट अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू जस्ट ओपन एनी वेब ब्राउजर वॉट एवर वेब ब्राउजर यू आर यूजिंग जस्ट सर्च डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट मेंटी डॉट कॉम एम ई एन टी आई डॉट कॉम रिटर्न द टॉप ऑफ माई स्क्रीन एम ई एन टी आई डॉट कॉम मेंटी डॉट कॉम दे बी आस्किंग यू अ कोड सो द कोड इज रिटर्न द टॉप ऑफ माई स्क्रीन फोर टू डबल सिक्स जीरो फाइव डबल थ्री अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग फोर टू डबल सिक्स जीरो फाइव डबल थ्री इंटर द कोड एंड ज्वाइन इट फास्ट फोर टू डबल सिक्स Four two double six zero five double three. Okay, so I'm I'm writing in live chat also. ठीक है. तो इसको आप डालो और पढ़ा पढ़ join करो. I will start the quiz very soon. ठीक है. So once you reach menti. dot com, they'll be asking you a code. So four two double six zero five double three. Enter it and join it fast. पढ़ा पढ़. So let's start the quiz. Okay. So let's start the quiz without wasting for the uh, for the time. So uh, the first question is in front of you. So the first question says, Swiss Canal connects which of the two water body? Your options are uh, Red Sea and Black Sea, Euphrates and Tigris River, Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, Red Sea and Mediterranean Sea. Uh, similar type of questions was asked in IFT. Actually, they asked I think last year the Strait of Gibraltar. Uh, actually, that asked about Strait of Gibraltar. so which connects mediterranean sea and atlantic ocean so similar type of canals uh, or you can say straits can be asked in exam so is canal is very famous yes the right answer to this question is option d red sea and mediterranean sea is the right answer to this question so actually so is canal connects red sea and mediterranean sea you should have idea about it please go and read something about world geography also uh, the next one is question number 2 which is in front of you and question number 2 says who among the following is not the winner of nobel peace prize 2022 if you see the previous year question of iift uh, they have asked about nobel prizes okay so that is why i am discussing it uh, the winner of nobel peace prize 2022 your options are alice bialetsky memorial center for civil liberties maria resa which of the following is not the winner puch rahe कौन विनर इस साल के नोबेल पीस प्राइज के विनर नहीं है एंड दीज आर योर फोर ऑप्शन ओके यस द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन डी 
मारिया रेसा इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन पता होना चाहिए मारिया रेसा एक्चुअली वॉज द नोबेल पीस प्राइज विनर लास्ट ईयर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन नॉट दिस ईयर ठीक है सो डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन प्लीज रिमेम्बर इट नोबेल पीस प्राइज इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट इज वाई आई एम रिपीटिंग Uh, to ensure that yes you must be knowing it okay so d is the right answer to this question ls belsky memorial is an organization from russia and center for civil liberties also is an organization from ukraine they have got these awards theek okay? hai uh, the next one is question number 3 so question number 3 kavya it is written on the top of my screen how to join just go and search menti.com m e n t i.com written on the top of my screen Once you reach menti.com, they will be asking you a code. So code is written on the top of my screen. Four two double six zero five double three is the code. And enter it uh, fast. Now the question is: Ukraine does not share border with which country? Russia, Belarus, Poland, Germany. What is the right answer to this question? Now you'll be thinking, why I am asking this question? So if you have seen the previous year question of IFT, uh, you will realize. that they asked the questions last year afghanistan was in news because transfer of power happened so they asked about which of the following uh, they asked about the borders associated with afghanistan that which of the following is not a border or which of the following is having a bordering country with afghanistan so these were the questions and i hope you are aware this year russia ukraine war is happening so ukraine is very much in the news so you must be knowing it about ukraine the geography of ukraine and all so basically ukraine uh does not share border with germany just have an idea russia belarus and poland is right uh, 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 actually russia belarus and poland actually the ukraine touches the border so the right answer to this question is option d is the right answer theek okay? hai okay so let's move on to the leaderboard uh, leaderboard pe chala jaye yes so rank 1 is muskan fastest then mars then rishav then crock then vroom then a then nachike desh pande thinki then watson okay so let's move on further to the next one that is the question number 4 guys everyone please press the like button whoever is watching on youtube we are seeing 9 likes 16 is watching sabko like button press kar do tabahar port is in which country your options are iran iraq qatar pakistan okay you must be knowing it it is very very important tabahar port aapko kaun se country milega Uh, if you see the previous year question they have asked about ports and in match the following that this port is in which country like this okay so yes they can ask again so chabahar port is in which country iran iraq qatar pakistan what is the right answer yes uh the very good many people are answering even in live chat also yes siddharth nachiket anmol right uh chabahar port is in iran it is famous because one of its port has been built by india so that is why it is very very important so a is the right answer to this question chabahar port you will find in india so a is the right answer uh, let's move on to the next one that is question number 5 and question number 5 says machu picchu is found in peru was related with which civ uh, civilization this is an ift previous year question so basically uh, your options are in kas nazca mesopotamian chinese civilization so what is the right answer to this question uh, machu picchu actually uh, uh, is uh, a city you will find in modern day peru peru is a country in south america so uh, there was a very famous civilization there and you have to answer the name of that civilization sir previous year question so sometimes i give you previous year question sometimes i give you questions related with previous year yes uh, the right answer is in kaz please remember it uh, some people have answered mesopotamian guys mesopotamian civilization you will find in iraq so the old name of iraq is mesopotamia and here i have told you it is in peru peru is the country in south america so c cannot be the option and chinese civilization is in china so how can c and d can uh, be right so at least you could have eliminated c or d very easily okay so the right answer to this question is option a incas is the right answer to this question incas civilization just have an idea it's a previous year question uh, that is why i am telling you uh, let's move on to the next one the question number 6 um the question number 6 is the famous ancient city of baghdad 
is currently the capital of dash lies on the bank of river dash so this is also a previous cell question okay but i have framed in a different fashion they asked in match the following i am asking you in a different format okay so your options are iran comma euphrates iraq comma tigris turkey comma tigris iraq comma euphrates so baghdad is the capital of dash so you have to first dash is talking about the country the second dash is talking about the river which passes through baghdad or the river on which the baghdad lies yes good siddhar and nachiket right the right answer is option b so baghdad is actually the capital of iraq that you know so option a and c you could have easily eliminated okay so you are left with b and d option either b or d you should be knowing both euphrates and tigris actually passes from iraq there's no doubt about it but you must be knowing it that baghdad is a city on tigris river okay so the right answer to this question is option b is the right answer please remember it uh, these are very important these are previous year questions framed in a different way uh, that is why uh, i am giving you now uh, the next is the leaderboard so uh, the rank 1 is rishab then mars then muskan then kiti then nachiket yasho thinki guru uh, ribit then bc okay uh, let's move on to the next one everyone please press the like button we are seeing 11 likes 14 is watching sabko like button press kar do yes uh, the next is question number 7 question number 7 is in front of you which says which of the following is the oldest high court of india your options are bombay high court calcutta high court allahabad high court हिमाचल प्रदेश हाई कोर्ट ये भी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन है कि इंडिया का सबसे पुराना हाई कोर्ट कौन सा है आई होप यू आर अवेयर हाई कोर्ट इज एट स्टेट लेवल है ना सो दस डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट एट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल देन हाई कोर्ट इज एट स्टेट लेवल देन देर इज अ सुप्रीम कोर्ट एट ऑल इंडिया लेवल आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दिस है ना ओके सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज येस वेरी गुड द ओल्डेस्ट हाई कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज कैलकटा हाई कोर्ट Uh, I guess you are aware of this that before Delhi, uh, I think before 1911, uh, the capital city of India was Calcutta. Now it is called as Kolkata, so they used to call it as Calcutta. So I hope you are aware of this, and that is why they established the first high court and all. So B is the right answer to this question. Yes, from Kolkata, Rishi Vasi. Ha, huh? yes. So B is the right answer. Okay, uh, let's move on further to the next one, the question number eight. And question number eight says. Who among the following is the chairman of Niti Aayog? These types of questions also they have asked about Niti Aayog, Planning Commission. That is why you should be knowing it. Your options are Suman Berry, Rajiv Kumar, Amitabh Kant, none of the above. What is the right answer to this question? The current chairman of Niti Aayog. I guess everyone must have heard about Niti Aayog. Yes. Niti Aayog actually replaced the Planning Commission, है ना? So let me see how many of you are right. Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is option D. None of the above is the right answer to this question. And yes, Rishav Agarwal has answered me correctly. Modi ji, ha. Huh. So the right answer is chairman of Niti Aayog is the prime minister. So whoever is the prime minister will automatically become the chairman of Niti Aayog. Same was the case earlier with Planning Commission. So the chairman of Planning Commission was actually the prime minister when Planning Commission was there. now planning commission has been replaced with niti aayog so now the chairman of niti aayog is the prime minister himself so d is the right answer to this question okay yes okay uh, the next one is question number 9 which is in front of you and it says who among the following is the ceo of niti aayog your options are suman beri parveshwaran ayer amitabh kant subrata prakash subrata prakash who is the chief executive officer of niti aayog niti aayog ki ceo kon hai aapko batana hai everyone please press the like button you are seeing 12 likes 20 is watching sabko like button press kar do yes uh, the right answer to this question is option b mr parmeshwaran ayer that is why i gave this i was sure enough that many people will be confused amitabh kant was earlier the ceo no doubt but i think somewhere around in june or uh, around may or june he left the post Now we are having the new CEO, Chief Executive Officer of Niti Aayog. His name is Mr. Parmesh Varan Ayer. So B is the right answer to this question. And option A is Mr. Suman Beri is the Vice Chairman of Niti Aayog. Okay, so you must be knowing it. Okay, 
So uh, let's move on to the leaderboard now. Yes, uh, so Rishabh is rank 1, then Muskan, then Mars, then Satyansh, fastest, Kitty, Nachiket, Yasho, Thinky, Guru, Mayank. Okay, uh, the next one is uh, question number 10. And question number 10 says, Who among the following is the chairman of 15th Finance Commission? Your options are uh, Mr. Shakti Kantadas, Urjit Patil, Raghuram Rajan, N.K. Singh. So Finance Commission, Niti Aayog, these are the questions being asked in exam. Okay, so that is why I'm giving you. Uh, this is the current Finance Commission, that is 15th Finance Commission. And who is the chairman? You have to answer it. And these are your options in front of you. Yes, the right answer to this question is option D. Uh, Mr. N. K. Singh is a former IS officer from Bihar and he is the current chairman of 15th Finance Commission. So the right answer to this question is option D is the right answer. Yes, Siddharth, Sardayansh, you all are right. D is the right answer to this question. Okay, you must be knowing it. There's a homework. Go and read something about Finance Commission. What is Finance Commission? Anna. Uh, the next one is question number 11. Question number 11 says, what is the inflation target that has to be followed by I, RBI, Reserve Bank of India? Your options are 2 to 6%, 4 to 6%, 2 to 8%, 4 to 8%. Uh, this is also a previous year question. So they are asking about inflation target also of RBI that uh, they should uh, try to remain the inflation in what range? Okay. What is the right answer to this question? means it should not be less than the lower limit and it should not be more than the above limit, uh, the more than the upper limit. So yes, uh, the right answer to this question is option A, 2 to 6 percent it should be. It means the inflation should not be less than 2 percent and it should not cross 6 percent. So the RBI tries its best to ensure that inflation should be between 2 to 6 percent. Okay, so that is what the idea is. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay. So the next one is question number 12 and question number 12 says who is the governor of RBI? This is the easiest question of the day. I'm expecting everyone to be right. Uh, Mr. Ujit Patel, Mr. Shakti Kanta Das, Mr. Raghuram Rajan, uh, Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman. What is the right answer to this question? RBI ke governor ka naam batana hai. Aap ko ye sab cheez pata honne chahiye. You must be knowing it. Yes, I was expecting 100%, but uh, I got uh, not, uh, I got actually somewhere on 90% correct. So the right answer is option B. Mr. Shakti Kanta Das is the current governor of RBI. Yes, earlier we were having Raghuram Rajan and Ujit Patel as the governor. They are considered as ex-governor of RBI, you can say. But right now the governor of RBI is Mr. Shakti Kanta Das. Okay. Yes, B is the right answer to this question. Let's move on further to the leaderboard. Everyone, please press the like button. We are seeing 13 likes. 21 is watching. Sabko like button press kado yaar. Fata fat. Uh, rank 1 is Rishav. Fastest. Then Muskan. Then Mars. Then Satyansh. Kitty. Nachiket. Yasho. Mayank. Thinky. Guru. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next is question number 13. So question number 13 says, the interest rate at which RBI gives loan to commercial bank through the exchange of government security is called as repo rate, reverse repo rate, cash reserve ratio, statutory liquidity ratio. What is the right answer? RBI to commercial bank ko loan de di hai, government security ke exchange mein, this interest pe diya jata hai, us interest ko kya It's a short term interest rate. Yes, we are talking about short term interest rate. What is the right answer? ये सब बेसिक चीज बताओ नहीं चाहिए आपको यस वेरी गुड द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज रेपो रेट और रीपरचेज अग्रीमेंट रीपरचेज ऑपरेशन आल्सो वी से सो ए इज द राइट आंसर यस सत्यांश सिद्धार्थ 
Jatin Kalra and Mohan Goel, you all are right. A is the right answer to this question. Therefore, it is the right answer. Uh, the next one is question number 40, which is in front of you. Everyone, please press the like button. Sabko like button press kado. Fata fat. Uh, who was the first Indian woman to get Bharat Ratan, which is India's highest civilian award? Your options are Mother Teresa, Indra Gandhi, Suchita Kripalani, Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. Pahli Bharati Mahila Jinko Bharat Ratan Mila in its first. Uh, uh, first woman to get Bharat Ratan, which is India's highest civilian award. I guess you are aware of this. So, what is the right answer? I am waiting for your answers. Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is option B. Uh, Indira Gandhi is the right answer to this question. There is no doubt that Mother Teresa also got Bharat Ratan. But if we are talking about first Indian woman, then it should be Indira Gandhi. Okay. So, B is the right answer to this question. Not A. B is the right answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, Indira Gandhi was the Prime Minister. I hope you are aware of these things. Okay. So, let's move on to the next one. That is question number 15. And question number 15 says, Mother Teresa was born in which country? Means modern day which country? So earlier she was born in a country which is uh, now uh, actually divided into many other countries. So in modern day which country she was born? Pristina, uh, Kosovo, Skopje, North Macedonia, Jakarta, Indonesia, Athens, Greece. So this is also from previous year question of IFT. Uh, that is why I am asking this question. Let's see how many of you can answer it. Yes, the right answer to this question is option B, Scope J, North Macedonia is the right answer to this question. Earlier, we used to call it as Yugoslavia. It got broken into many countries and all. So that is why I use the word modern day. So modern day, it is North Macedonia. Uh, the city, the capital city is Scope J, where she was born actually. So the right answer to this question is B is the right answer to this question. Okay, B is the right answer. Let's move on further to the leaderboard. So, Rishabh is rank 1, fastest, then Satyansh, then Muskan, Mars, Kitty, Yasho, Natiket, Mayank, Aditya, Thinky. Let's move on further to the next one. That is question number 16. So, let number question. There's a request. Everyone, please press the like button. We are seeing 13 likes, 30 is watching. Sabko like button press kado, everyone. Surveys of village and mapping with improvised technology in village area is related with which of the following schemes? So they ask from government schemes also. Jandhan Yojana, Swamitva scheme, Samarth scheme, PM Swanidhi. What is the right answer to this question? See, the answer is given in the question itself. Okay. Yes, option B is the right answer, guys. Just, just remember this, this one, this region. Survey S V A M I T in village, right? So Swamitva is the actually the short form of this survey of village and mapping with improvised technology in village areas. So this is actually the entire. Before is the entire actually one is actually the short form of a full form of Swamitva. So B is the right answer. The answer was given in the question itself. Yes, so B is the right answer. Okay, so the next one is question number 17, which says Commonwealth Games 2022 happened in where? I mean, this is an easy question, but these types of questions are asked in exam. Qatar, United Kingdom, India, Canada. So this year actually Commonwealth Games happened around, I think, July and August, right? So they can ask questions from here also that uh, they, uh, this happened where. Yes, that's very good. Uh, so ba basically, uh, this year Commonwealth Games happened in 
Birmingham, which is actually a city in United Kingdom. So the right answer to this question is B. You must be knowing it. There's a homework. Go and find out how many medals India got. What was its theme? What was its mascot? These are the things they can ask. So B is the right answer. Satyansh, Anmol, Nachiket, you all are right. B is the right answer to this question. Uh, the next one is question number 18. And question number 18 says, who is, what is the motto of Birmingham Commonwealth Games 2022? Your options are united by emotions, sports is fun, sports for all, sports is just the beginning. Your Birmingham uh, Commonwealth Games were recently. Uska motto aapko batana hai kya hai? Yes, uh, Satyansh Kumar has answered it. Yes, uh, let's see in the poll. Or yes, the right answer to this question is option D. Sports, sport is just the beginning. So D is the right answer to this question. So motto of Birmingham Commonwealth Games was option D. Sport is just the beginning. So just remember it. Yes, Rupesh, Nachiket, you all are right. D is the right answer to this question. Let's see the leaderboard. Dekha jai kahan kahan pe hai log. Yes, so rank one is Rishabh, then Satyansh, then Muskan, Mars, Kitty, Nachiket, Yasho, Familiar, Mayank, Malus, uh, fastest also. Let's move on further to the next one that is question number 19 and question number 19 says, how many teams are playing in Qatar FIFA World Cup 2022? So please add question mark, I missed it. 30, 36, 32, 48. Is saal Qatar FIFA World Cup ho hai? I hope you are aware. Usme total kitni teams play kar rahi hai? This year we're talking about. Yes, the right answer to this question is option C. 32 teams are actually playing this year. You should be knowing it. Yes, of the Qatar FIFA World Cup news. Mein. They can ask about in detail about Qatar FIFA World Cup motto, mascot, theme. How many teams are playing? They can ask these types of questions. You must be knowing it. Uh, the next one is question number 20. And question number 20 says, Frankenstein is a book written by whom? So actually it was asked in match the following in IFT previous year question that uh, they asked about in match the following. So I'm uh, directly asking. Mary Shelley, Leo Tolstoy, Charles Dickens, Bram Stoker. Frankenstein, jo kitab hai, iske lekha ka naam batana hai. Yes, the right answer to this question is option A. Mary Shelley is the right answer to this question. So, Frankenstein is a book written by Mary Shelley. So, A is the right answer to this question. Let's move on to the next one. The question number 21 and it says, The world is flat is a book written by whom? So, this is actually the basis of uh, globalization, right? Joseph Stiglitz, Thomas Friedman, E.M. Foster, Harper Lee, right? The idea or uh, the supporter of globalization, uh, he is the, uh, the author is the su uh, supporter of it. And the world is flat actually is talking about that globalization, right? It's a book written by. Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is option B. Thomas Friedman is the right answer to this question. Yes, Nachiket Satyansh. Uh, B is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, let's move on further to the uh, leaderboard now. Let's see the leaderboard. So rank one is Rishabh, then Satyansh, fastest, then Muskan, Mars, Nachiket, Kitty, Familiar, Yasho, Mayank, Malus. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. That is uh, question number 22. And question number 22 says, Economically weaker section 10% reservation which was recently upheld by Supreme Court. Which constitutional amendment is related to that? Actually the statement was not complete so let me explain. Um, uh, 
EWS reservation was given by Supre um, by government of India, I mean by parliament in 2019 by passing a constitutional amendment. So it was challenged in Supreme Court recently. Supreme Court upheld it. It said, yes, it is fine. There is nothing wrong in EWS. So which constitutional amendment talks about EWS reservation? Yes, the right answer is 103rd constitutional amendment gave the concept of EWS reservation. You must be knowing it. Option B is the right answer to this question. Yes, B is the right answer. Okay. So let's move on further to the next one, the question number 23 and question number 23 says, what is the mo motto of Qatar FIFA World Cup this year which is happening? Your options are now is all, unity and diversity, now or never, sports for all. So Qatar FIFA World Cup is happening, they can ask questions from Qatar FIFA World Cup. Yes. So what is the motto? Yes, the right answer to this question is option A. Now is all is the motto of other FIFA World Cup. So A is the right answer to this question. Yes, Siddharth, you are right. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, the question number 24. And it says, where do you find the headquarter of WTO, World Trade Organization? Your options are Geneva, Switzerland, Washington, DC, New York, Paris. Where, what is the right answer to this question? These are basic questions. They are, are actually asked in match the following. In fact, this type of question was asked earlier. Pehle puchha ja chuka hai. So, liye aap se fir puchha sakta hai headquarter of WTO ka hai. Yes, uh, the right answer to this question is option A. Geneva is the right answer to this question. The headquarter of World Trade Organization you will find in Geneva, which is a city in Switzerland. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay, so let's see the leaderboard now. Yes, uh, so rank one is Rishav, then Satyansh, fastest, then Mars, then Muskan, then Natiket, Familiar, Kitty, Yasho, Bran, then Mayank. Okay. So let's move on to the next one that is question number 25 which says human development index is released by whom see guys uh, in the last three four years they have asked twice from uh, in iaft from human development index so they have asked who comes up with the report or which parameter or what is india's rank these types of questions they have asked twice in the last four five years so they can ask from human development index also your options are world bank world economic forum undp imf what is the right answer to this question? Yes, the right answer to this question is option C, UNDP, United Nations Development Program is the right answer to this question. So Human Development Index is released by UNDP. So C is the right answer. Yes, Siddharth, right. Huh? Uh, the next is question number 26, which says, Khayal Aapka, Khayal Aapka is the tagline of Axis Bank, SDFC Bank, HSBC Bank, ICICA Bank. Uh, this was also asked in match the following. I am asking straightforward. They, they asked actually in match the following. Khayal Aapka tagline hai, Kone se bank ka? So taglines are also asked in IFT exam. I hope you are aware of that. So let me see how many of you are right. Yes, the right answer to this question is option D. ICICA Bank is the right answer to this question. So Khayal Aapka is the tagline of ICICA Bank. D is the right answer. Vamshi, Krishna, Siddharth, uh, Satyansh, you all are right. D is the right answer. Uh, the next is question number 27. And question number 27 says, Life Boy is a brand of soap marketed by which of the following companies? Your options are ITC, Procter & Gamble, Godrej, Unilever.
लाइफ बॉय जो कि उसको कौन सी कंपनी बनाती है आपको ये समझ मतलब किस कंपनी का ब्रांड है ना एंड आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दिस सिमिलरली ग्लो एंड लवली पर पूछा था ठीक है लास्ट ईयर सो ये द राइट आंसर इज यूनि लेवर so d is the right answer to this question life boy is a brand of soap marketed by unilever so d is the right answer yes satyan siddhar you are right let's move on to the leaderboard now again yes rishab is uh, satyan is rank 1 then rishab then mars then muskan nachiket familiar kt brand then chirag fastest yasho okay let's move on to the next one question number 28 and question number 28 says Where do you find the headquarter of IMF? That is International Monetary Fund. Your options are New York, Washington D.C., Paris, Ottawa. आपको headquarter IMF का कहाँ मिलेगा? Yes. Let me see. Yes, the right answer to this question is headquarter of uh, IMF International Monetary Fund. Fund you will find in Washington D.C. So B is the right answer to this question. Yes. So these are very simple, straightforward questions, and questions are asked from these actually in match the following and all. So that is why you must be knowing it. Recently, monkey pox was in the news. So they can ask it is caused by whom? Virus, bacteria, protozoa, fungus. What is the right answer to this question? So if you see, they have asked some questions from biology also. means what is in the news okay so like monkey pox was in the news 3 4 months back so they can ask something about it so from where it originated whether it's a zoonotic disease or not whether it's virus bacteria protozoa fungus these types of questions can be asked okay so the right answer to this question is actually it is caused by a virus a is the right answer and it is a zoonotic disease means it can be transferred from animal to human okay so a is the right answer to this question okay so let's move on to the next one the last question of the day the question number 30 and it says which of the following is not the member of sco so please add question mark here sco stands for shanghai cooperation organization so there were question asked last year related with sco that is why i am asking a question china pakistan afghanistan india which of them is not the member of sco these are your options and there's a request everyone please press the like button we are seeing 18 likes 27 is watching sabko like button press kar do everyone yes the right answer to this question actually is afghanistan please remember afghanistan is not the member of sco shanghai cooperation organization whereas india pakistan china russia other countries are actually member of it so c is the right answer to this question here Uh, let me show the final leaderboard who is the top uh, so satyansh is rank 1 very good then mars then rishav then others have also performed very well so um, the best thing about it is if even if you are not getting good marks or good rank please ensure whatever we have discussed make notes out of it and try to revise it i have tried to select those questions which are very important for you okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching please press the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you everyone thanks for watching